A hot air balloon. A hot air balloonist rising vertically with a constant velocity of magnitude 5 meters per second releases a sandbag at an instant when the balloon is 40 meters above the ground. So you can see we have 40 meters above the ground. The person releases a bag, a sandbag. And the balloon is rising with a velocity 5 meters per second, magnitude 5 meters per second. Compute the position and velocity of the sandbag 0.250 seconds and 1.00 seconds after its release. How many seconds after its release does the bag strike the ground? With what magnitude of velocity does it strike the ground? What is the greatest height above the ground that the sandbag reaches? And finally, sketch vertical component of acceleration as a function of time, vertical component of velocity as a function of time, and position y as a function of time graphs for the motion. Okay, so uh, we start by noting here that we have an initial speed 5 meters per second it's vertically up so velocity 5 plus 5 meters per second uh, the initial position y0 is my uh, is plus 40.0 meters above the ground the acceleration is gravitational acceleration which is minus g so that is minus 9.8 meters per second square so if I write the acceleration equals dv dt dv dt should be equal to minus g I find that the velocity as a function of time minus the initial velocity v0 must be equal to minus gt so delta v is equal to minus gt. So the velocity as a function of time is going to be initial velocity v0 minus gt which is the rate of change of position dy dt. So the position at time t y of t minus the initial position y0 must be equal to the integral 0 time 0 to time t v0 minus gt which is v of t dt this is v0t minus 1 over 2 gt square okay so the velocity at time t t equals 0 0.250 seconds would be equal to the initial velocity 5 uh, minus gt 9.8 times 0 0.25 which gives us 2.55 meters per second so that was my first question and the position y at time t is equal to 0 0.250 seconds is the initial position uh, 40 plus uh, v0t so it is 5 times 0 0.25 minus 1 over 2 gt square minus 1 over 2 9.8 times 0 0.25 square and that gives me 40.9 meters okay now I want to know the velocity at time t equals 1 second t is equal to 1.00 seconds the velocity will be v0 minus gt which is 5 minus 9.8 times 1 minus 4.8 uh, meters per second uh, 
and the position at time t is equal to 1.00 seconds would be initial position 40 plus v0t plus 5 times 1 minus 1 over 2 9.8 t square this would give me uh, 40.1 meters okay now let's move on to part b part b asks me how many seconds after its release does the bag strike the ground okay uh, so i want to know the time time of flight tf uh, so that the position at this time will be y0 40 plus v0 t 5 tf minus 1 over 2 9.8 tf square should be equal to zero so it strikes the ground uh, so this gives me tf square minus 5 over 4.9 tf uh, minus 40.4.9 equals to zero a quadratic equation so the answer will be given by the positive root tf is uh, minus b which is 5 over 4.9 plus square root b square minus 4ac 5 over 4.9 square uh, plus 4 times 40 divided by 4.9 divided by 2a a is equal to 1 so this is 1 over 2 1 over 2 so the answer is 3.41 seconds part c asks me uh, with what magnitude of velocity does it strike the ground so final velocity magnitude so the velocity at t final is equal to uh, 5 v0 minus gt so 9.8 times 3.41 that gives us minus 28.4 meters per second okay uh, part d asks me the greatest height above the ground the sand back reaches so uh, basically i'm going to maximize the position dy dt is equal to zero at y max that's the extremum point that is at that time the velocity should be equal to zero so at time t prime which is uh, v0 minus gt 5 minus 9.8 t prime is equal to zero so that gives me the time t prime 5 over 9.8 seconds so if i substitute that into my position as a function of time I will find y max so y max is y evaluated at time t prime which is y0 40 plus v0 t which is 5 times 5 over 9.8 minus 1 over 2 g t square minus 1 over 2 9.8 t, t square 5 over 9.8 square and this gives me 41.3 meters as the maximum height okay so finally i need to plot acceleration y component as a function of time well you can see i have gravitational acceleration which is nine point minus 9.8 meters per second square so it's a constant 
the velocity as a function of time. <clears throat> At time t is equal to zero, the velocity was five meters per second. At time t is equal to uh, one, it was minus 4.8. So you can see that it's coming down. The velocity becomes uh, zero. Uh, basically, the velocity becomes zero at t is equal to five over 9.8. Uh, which is z roughly 0 0.91, uh, 0 0.51, I believe, seconds. And uh, after that, the velocity becomes a negative. At t is equal to uh, 1, it is minus 4.8. At t is equal to 2 point, uh, yes, at 0 0.25, it was plus 2.55. So you can see that 5. Is, and then 0 0.25 it is positive 0 0.51 it is 0 and it's coming down the final velocity at time t is equal to 3.41 is minus 28.4 so that's what i see here the velocity is as a function of time is a line with a slope that is going to be equal to the gravitational acceleration uh, the position as a function of time the position as a function of time was obtained in uh, part A. You can see here, uh, y of t is equal to y0 plus v0t minus 1 over 2 gt squared. The initial position was 40 meters. The maximum height is reached at time t is equal to 0 0.51, which is 5 over 9.8 seconds. 41.3 meters after that the position becomes zero at t is equal to 3.41 uh, seconds so it's going to be coming down like this and it's going to be following this um, function uh, y0 plus v0t minus 1 over 2 gt squared so you can see that we reach a maximum the slope goes to zero because we have zero velocity and then the slope is uh, increasing as we come down and reaching a final slope uh, which is going to be equal to minus 28.4 uh, meters per second okay so to summarize we had a hot air balloonist the balloon is rising with a velocity 5 meters per second uh, when the balloon is 40 meters above the ground, the person inside releases a sandbag. When it is released, it already has the velocity of the hot air balloon. And it's under gravitational acceleration here, so it's going to fall down, uh, being subject to gravitational acceleration. And we can compute the position and velocity as a function of time which is what we did here so uh, velocity is v uh, the delta v is equal to the integral of acceleration dt so minus gt so it is v0 minus gt the position change in position delta y is y of t minus y0 is integral 0 to t v0 minus gt dt so we find the position as a function of time y0 plus v0 t minus 1 half gt squared then we can evaluate it at different times that's what we did in part a in part b we want to know how long it takes to fall so the final position should be zero so we set the position equal to zero at the final time the time of flight tf and we find the time of flight by taking the positive root of this a quadratic equation to be 3.41 seconds then we evaluate the velocity at that final time to find the final um, magnitude final speed 28.4 meters per second which is pointing down so the velocity is minus 28.4 meters per second we find the maximum height by taking the extremum point of the position which gives us uh, the dy dt equals to zero so that is when the velocity uh, vy is equal to zero which happens at 5 over 9.8 seconds, at roughly 0 0.51 seconds, we evaluate the position to be 41.3 meters. And then we can plot acceleration as a function of time. Acceleration is constant acceleration motion here. Velocity is a linear relationship with time. It falls down. 
uh, and the, the position is first increasing and then it starts decreasing with an increasing slope uh, and reaches zero at t is equal to 3.41 seconds.